you guys, Joseph here, and uh, right now I'm talking about my 2018. First of all, 2018 was a turbulent year for me because, um, first of all, uh, uh, when uh, I released a bit of my mental health uh, story and that, etc., and then on the 4th of March, uh, I had to deal with uh, one of my greatest uh, idols, uh, Keith Flint, who died. Um, and to be honest, that really, really hard. And uh, I was, uh, I was like moping for three weeks because of it. And then, uh, then after that, I received the greatest gift on my birthday, which was. Um, to be honest, uh, was was positivity uh, for the for my birthday, which was amazing, and uh, made me push through even further and even further physically when I when I go to the gym, uh, and and people say which gym, which gym you go to, I go to Dean Lloyd's, uh, just to push myself even further, and. Then, then in late of August, uh, went and uh, went and went and uh, went to uh, SW four in London Club and Common, which is a which is a music festival, which is a to be more specific as a da dance festival in. In the area of London, in Club and Common, which is just which is south of London, which was absolutely amazing. Raved, raved my, absolutely raved like a man, man. Uh, to be honest, uh, when I, when I saw Andy C, Chasing Stace, Friction, Black Snake Empire, and when I see Pendulum as well, which Pendulum in their mix uh, did tribute to Keith Flint by. We blasted out with the Prodigy as well, which was absolutely amazing. And then, uh, and then after that, I did sober, sober October for for the whole month of October, uh, which uh, I didn't drink any a single drop of alcohol for the whole month of October and raised hundred twenty twenty quid or pounds um, for Young Minds Trust. Which is a mental health charity, mental health ch charity, which is close to me as well. And then in December, I uh, got my Salsa Award for two hundred hours of voluntary service for because uh, I did uh, I did volunteer in a a high five club, which is which is my local social club uh, here, and then. Um, that was my 2018 afterwards and got this Fitbit for Christmas which is uh, ideal for my fitness as well so I did an amazing time and now I was talking about my decade another decade has gone uh, uh, quickly and it's it doesn't feel like it at all uh, first, first of all uh, 2011 Not not that eventful at all, and and uh, went to host hospital for um for an apparent because uh, I thought oh, there was something wrong, wrong with uh, my son at the time. So then twenty twelve uh, went to the London Olympics uh, with my dad and. I had a amazing time there. It was absolute buzzing. The whole the whole London was buzzing for it at that time, and it was absolutely amazing. Twenty thirteen, went on my first long haul flight ever to none other than Orlando, Florida. I had an amazing time there with my with my family and my co my cousin and my auntie at the time as well. Um, and then twenty fourteen, 
2014 was eventful. 2014 I went to the Commonwealth, Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, which was which was just an hour and a half from here, uh, which was absolutely amazing. Had a nice time there, and one in Glasgow was absolutely electrifying at that time for when it, when when the Commonwealth Games went went to Glasgow and then. And uh, after that, then after that, uh, went to Cena Park as well. My first scene, my first music festival, my first actual music festival I went to. Uh, it was absolutely amazing. When it, when I saw Calvin Harris as well, because uh, at that time I was in I was into um, uh, house music and was being my was was raving. At that time and then 2015, not that eventful, but I went to see Tina Park yet again. But at, at that time, it was at Strath Island Castle. Um, and to be honest, the National Festival was not that, not that great organized, to be honest. And then 2016, went to Tina Park again. I went to three Tina Parks in consecutive years, uh, and that Tina Park, it was actually said to be the last Tina Park ever, because um, because of the because the organizers decided to say they're going to take a pause from Tina Park for now, and then uh, then I also went to New York with a fat family as well. Uh, in that year, as a surprise gift uh, for my for, for my big sister, and. Um, it was absolutely amazing time in New York, and then 2017 happened, and that was kind of the turnaround for up here at that time. So, um, first of all, it started off uh, with me getting an unconditional for uh, for the NC certificate in computing course uh, during my college and. That was amazing. I, I was at the same time I got off or when I was leaving uh ah, leaving high school at the time. And I had a I had an amazing time with I had the formal as well, which is absolutely amazing. And then then my eighteenth birthday and I celebrated my eighteenth birthday in Berlin, Germany. I went to the Olympia Stadium and had an amazing time there. And then and after that, it was my big sister's graduation, and it was absolutely amazing. And it was absolutely great. And then, then twenty eighteen happened. Went to went to Portugal, Portugal. Uh, to be more precise, I went to to Vira, uh, a nice small town in Portugal, way down south in the Med in Medis Mediterranean, and it was so relaxing, and so nice, and had a good time there. And then. In 2018, uh, went to went to Olio, Portugal. Had a nice time there, and uh, and that was my and that was my decade. Uh, to be honest, the decade was uh, was a bit was a bit was very tr was very good, and maybe I was the person today. So hope uh, everyone has a happy new year and and in, and enjoy 2020. Just coil over and out.